Well, it's been two weeks. It's good to, good to be back with you again. Hope everybody's had some great experiences with seller sizing and, and have had a chance to share it with those that you care about and have been able to enjoy the Mr. Rebounder app. We are working on some additional um, support with that right now, including the ability to move the exercises in different positions without having to start all over again and also being able to mute the music so you can put on your own music but it'll still ding so that you can uh, move forward on the different uh, different exercises so we hope we know you're enjoying it we're hoping uh, those of you who haven't tried it yet have an opportunity to try it again we've got over 30 pre-made exercise routines for beginning intermediate advanced seniors and create your own so tonight I want everybody to feel free to go ahead and pull your cellar sizers out because we're going to do a little over a 10 minute routine um, at the very end and it's going to be beginning to intermediate uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good and we've sent you a copy of the, the routine so if you want to add it to your app now while, while you're listening we can, we can do that. Uh, we've got some incredible customer reviews and people that we've had a chance um, to work with over the years have have been writing in I want to I want to read you a couple of them this is a this is a gentleman who writes thank you for your cellar sizer I use it almost every day in 2016 and I can't since 2016 and can't begin to express what a positive difference it has made in my life I have e I have severe, a severe case of sleep apnea and insomnia. So getting energy to my brain and body is an obsession for me because I love life and love serving others. But when my brain doesn't get enough oxygen due to lack of sleep, it is hard to think clearly and to be focused and positive. But the cellar sizer gives the jump start I need each morning. I feel my brain coming alive and energy flowing into me. While I do this exercise, I also will do affirmations, take breaths and read scriptures and write goals. It truly is a transforming experience each day. I hurt my lower back when I was 12. I'm now 60, which made running impossible. However, the cellar sizer is gentle and I can exercise as much as I want. Thank you for making the world a better place, including mine. <laughs> Bess, Tom, thank you. Thanks, so. All right. This is a lady who I've, I remember seeing years ago who uh, we reconnected, and she was telling me about what the cellar size had done for her. So I asked her, well, would you be willing to share that? And she said, yes. Her name is Shanto. She says, my healing journey has been very long, yet it is a unique story that I attempted to make shorter so I would, could share it with you. I look forward to sharing parts of my success story with others and to motivate them. Also, you have made a huge difference in my life with your support and the invention of the cellar sizer. So she writes, about 12 years ago, I was faced with a death sentence. Doctors said there was nothing left that they could do and there was no hope left for me. I looked and felt like twice my age. As a result, I was forced into an early retirement looking for ways to stay alive. I was not ready to leave this planet at the age of only 53 years old. In my research, I learned that moving the lymphatic system was key to healing. So I looked for the best ways to move the lymph along with changing my diet and lifestyle habits. There were studies stating how rebounding was the best way to move the lymph. Since I had medical bills, I could only buy a cheap rebounder. After using it for, for a while, I felt worse, and it caused me even more health issues. I thought rebounding was not for me. Yet articles from experts kept appearing for me to read everywhere that talked about the healing effects of rebounding. Therefore, therefore it was obvious that I had to search for another rebounder and hope that it would help heal instead of hurt me this time. I tried various rebounders over the months, and to see and feel the differences in them so I could pick the right one this time, which I was willing to pay whatever price to just get the best one. After much experimentation and more research, I chose the cellar sizer and ordered it immediately. 
The cellar sizer arrived quickly, yet I was scared to use it. I remember feeling horrible after using the cheap rebounder, plus more time had passed of not moving the lymph. So I had more aches and pains, more bone and muscle loss, more labored breathing, and weighed only 76 pounds. The cellar sizer set up easily despite being so weak. The challenge was to finally get back on a rebounder again. It was good that I had ordered the cellar sizer with a balance bar as it gave me confidence to climb on it and the support I needed to do the movements with less anxiety. I played music to help motivate me to move since it makes me happy. I began to slowly move my body doing just a bounce to the music. I felt good and nothing like the cheap rebounder did. There were no rules that I could find on how to use the rebounder so I made up my own. It is a tool to move the lymph. I just needed to figure out a way to move my sick body in any possible way. For me, it had to be fun and not boring. After about five minutes, I was dancing that I hadn't done in years. Now, after nine, she bolds this, bold printing. It says, now, after nine years of cellar size or dancing, I have a better quality of life. Each year, I feel younger and healthier instead of older and sicker as in the past. In June, I turned 65. Because I learned how to move the lymph system naturally using my cellar sizer, my health issues are more manageable. I feel, feel physically I have more energy, mentally have decreased brain fog, and emotionally have eliminated depression. The cellar sizer is an astonishing piece of apparatus that assisted in creating miracles in my health as part of my new lifestyle and helped me live long, long past a few months that the doctors predicted 12 years ago. Thank you, Dave, for designing the best rebounder that gives me hope instead of fear to stay on my healing journey. Chantal, you're an inspiration. You're a sister. We love you. And thank you for being willing to share part of your story and journey with us. Now I've got one that um, we're going to listen to. And... I want to encourage everybody again, and I know you are, given the conditions that we're living in in this world right now and the problems we may be challenged with facing in the very near future, each one of us, it's important we have good lymphatic circulation, that the immune system is working at its higher potential. The cellular sizer creates the pressure changes to activate the millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system so that it's a vacuum that helps increase the efficiency of the lymph system. But it does a lot more than that. Again, for those of you who may be new, it's weight bearing, not weight lifting. We don't limit the effect. It's on every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, protein, fibers, the entire body from the inside out, not from the outside in. So as the body gets stronger, as cells become stronger, healthier, as they work more efficiently, our body parts and functions get stronger, healthier, and work more efficiently as well. And when they do, we feel better, we perform better, we have a better quality of life. And that's what we're looking to accomplish. And that's what cellular size is about, is how can we help people have more energy, feel better, perform better, and reach their greater health potential. All right, this is, from, this is from Avril. And I'm going to put it up next to the phone so you can listen to her. Because it's a remarkable story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> up to the mic so you hear. Good morning, David. This is my testimony. Twelve years ago, I was declared legally blind. In the last 12 months or a year, I've been trying to wean myself off of one of the medications. I went from 500 milligrams to 250 to zero as of December 2019. However, three weeks ago, in the middle of January, I had a major flare-up, which is an indication that the weaning process was unsuccessful. I went to the doctor. He looked at me and said, not only do I have to get back on the drug, but I have to go back and double the dose. In addition to that, I have to go from 1% um, prednisone to 40%. So I went from, he wanted me to go back from 0% to 500 milligrams on the other drug. And then one, 
one milligram to 40 milligrams of the prednisone. And we lost the feed here. Huh. Good morning, David. This is my testimony. In addition to that, I have to go from 1% um, prednisone to 40%. So I went from, he wanted me to go back from 0% to 500 milligrams on the other drug. And then 1, one milligram to 40 milligrams of the prednisone. Also, the eye drops that I was using is eight times, one dosage is eight times stronger than the standard drops that one should need to use. And he wanted me to use four times a day. I came home, I cried, I prayed, and I felt a peace. And I decided not to go back on the 500 milligram drug that I was weaned off of. I decided only to take 5% of the prednisone and decided to do one to two drops of that very potent eye drop. I started rebounding on another unit February 1st and three days into following your technique, three, four days, I began to see some changes in my vision. And on the 4th of February, I decided to buy the cellucizer. I rebounded for a total of 12 days with the other unit and the most of the time with the cellucizer. On last week, Thursday, Oop, keep going. Thursday, the 12th or 13th, I went back to the doctor's office and he was astonished by the re response my body had in the 12 days from the time he last saw me. And he said to me, whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. He also said that he has not seen my eyes in this positive state. He didn't define it too much, but this positive state in a very long time. So I want to give God the glory and thank you and your team for doing such a... Oh. Well, Avril, we, we appreciate you. And the she called our office and and Jerry had told me that after she'd been cellulosizing that someone in the kitchen turned on the light and she was like whoa what happened what just happened and it was in that process she began to discover that she was able to see again when she thought she was not going to be able to and she was able to read numbers on a phone was able to dial us herself um, recently so we we're not giving we're not telling people not to take medication what we're telling people is that the cellulosizer helps to increase circulation helps to open up capillaries helps to change blood chemistry by taking sticky blood cells and separating them and oxygenating them and energizing them and when our environment and our body is able to function more efficiently again we're going to see benefits that we might not have otherwise seen. We're trying to promote the causes of health rather than dealing with the symptoms of illness. Christine, we've got some, we some, some questions. questions. All right. Okay. Would enjoy hearing a, you discuss stretching. I've heard that by rebounding, you can act, you are actually stretching the muscles at the same time. Can you explain and what additional stretching, how much, how often should be done? Good, good question. My daughter's been learning the splits and she can do them now, which is really kind of exciting because she likes to, she's a dancer and, and getting ready to do some drill team work. And in fact, she's got a, she had a competition today. I don't know how it went, but I'll find out. But the cellar helps to increase circulation, um, which helps to warm up tissue. In addition, it massages the cell membrane. So as you're moving up and down, the cell membrane is being is expanding and contracting and increasing in flexibility. Now, when we tear down to build up, we do the opposite effect. When we tear down typical muscle building, for example, which is fine, it's a sport, but when you tear it down, you lose flexibility because you create little tears in the cell membrane and the, the body has to patch the tear with more protein. And then you tear the tear and it has to patch the patch and you build these big muscles, but they don't have the flexibility and you can lose timing, speed, coordination, and performance. 
with cellar size, you're not tearing down to build up. So every time you cellar size, you're taking the very weakest of cells and the strongest of cells. And you're causing all of them to be weightless and then weight. Weightless, weight, over a hundred times a minute. So as the cell membrane expands and contracts, the body parts automatically become more flexible. But in addition to that, the cell membrane is also becoming stronger. That's not something you can do with typical exercise but it is something we can do with cellar size. So the more we cellar size, the more flexible we can become. It's always fun for me to do a test where we have people bend over and try to touch the floor and before they get on a cellar size, and then we do a little cellar size routine, and when we're done, we have them try to touch the floor again. And the difference is significant, and they haven't done any stretching. Now, that being said, if you incorporate cellar size with a stretching routine, you can think of, of how the benefits are going to be magnified. Because as you cellar size to warm up, I, I suggest every athlete should cellar size before they try to stretch anyway. Um, but as we move up and down and we warm up the tissue, we increase the circulation, then we can stretch. And that's going to take what we've already accomplished and stretch the cell tissue and the ligaments and tendons and membranes a little bit more. Then we get on the cellar sizer and we move up and down on the cellar sizer again to help reduce any swelling or inflammation that may have occurred from that process because stretching can actually tear as well. And over time, the combination can actually improve our results. And we can do it with every area of our body. My oldest son is 25 and has RSD, which causes pain all over his body. The pain increases with using mm. his any limb. His feet are flat and his knees don't align right. All his muscles are very tight. He walks around but lies in bed a lot. His doctors say he needs to move or exercise, but it is difficult. Anything he does, he has to do with any for a very short amount. I now have a cellar sizer, yay, I love it. I want him to do it. Would one minute a day baby bounce and slowly work up work? I don't know if I can get him to do it on and off throughout the day. I had him try it once and it took a while for him to even do a bounce. Thanks for your program and for your cellar sizer. I'm so grateful. I know this could really help him. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of that. It's a form of a just, I, ah. It's when the muscles lose their flexibility and, and it can become very, very painful. Um, and it can spread in different areas of the body. Generally, it starts with the hands and it can, can work other areas as well. One of the advantages of cellar size is that you can either bounce yourself if you can, or you can sit down on the cellar sizer or be in a chair and have somebody put their feet on a cellar sizer. The movement up and down is going to take all that tissue without, without having to do it yourself and cause the, and the cells don't know the difference whether you're doing it or somebody else is doing it for you. The cells are going to be expanding and contracting. The circulation is going to be increasing. The objective again is to help the body heal and promote healing, get rid of a lot of that swelling and inflammation which, can, which does accompany that that condition um, so that the body is in a healthier state and that gentle movement up and down can be very helpful again I've got to say consult with your doctor or feel free to have your doctor give me a call and I'm more than happy to talk about different approaches that might be mo most appropriate for for um, where that's located or what that condition is involving When you do the special moves for certain problem areas, example like your back with the elbow up and bend to the side, how long do you hold that and do the gentle bounce? Is it 30 seconds what you start with and gradually increase the time? Or do you do it a couple times throughout the workout? Thank you. Yeah, if you're dealing with a condition, then there are specific movements that are designed to help focus on those particular areas of the body. Um, opening up increasing flexibility in the back. We have specific exercises designed to do that. You can do it several times during routine. Um, 30 seconds is really a pretty long time. So you're moving up and down um, like 50 times while you're doing that. And you can do graduated movements. So what, what he was talking about, or I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but what, 
what they're talking about is when we take our right elbow, stick it up over our head, we lean to the left to open up the vertebral joints and loosen up some of the muscles. And when we feel that stretch, if we feel that stretch, great. You don't have to go overboard and stretch beyond your, your comfort level. But when you feel it, you stop, hold the position, gently move up and down. Allow the movement to gently massage that stress or that tension so that we're moving fluid and circulation through the tissue spaces at the same time. And that's just the first step of a number of graduated movements that we can do that are all designed to help loosen up the muscles and the vertebral joints. We know that using the cellicizer can reduce cortisol and stress. Does that count after doing a heavy cardio workout on the cellicizer? As hard cardio increases the cortisol levels, have, any, have you any information on the lowering cortisol after hard cardio? Yeah, you're going to use it. <laughs> Your body, when, you, when you're doing a hard cardio exercise, your met metabolic processes are going to go up, the oxygen level is going to go up, the body's ability to utilize um, the, the fats and, and the energy that's, that it might otherwise store is going to go up. The body's actually also increasing endorphins, so you're going to feel better. Um, it's, that's great. Uh, I, you, you rarely ever see a person who is involved with high cardio um, with cortisol issues with re relate, relating to weight gain. So the intensity is great. The intensity also increases more mitochondria, also increases metabolic processes. To prevent downstairs neighbors from hearing your workout. Okay. For those that live in apartment buildings. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, depends on what kind of apartment building you live in. If it's got concrete floors, it's not really much of a problem. You just get a little pad or thick carpeting and put it underneath it so it absorbs any of that movement. The springs are already going to absorb a lot of the, the pounding that would otherwise be occurring if you were just doing it on the surface. Um, but if it's a wood floor, um, you, you need to be more concerned probably about the timing and the hours and, and working with the people and get some kind of a foam pad that, that you can put underneath the cellar so it can mitigate any of that, um, that, that noise. I've been salicizing for a week, and this morning I woke with pain behind my, my right knee. Is it possible I have overdone it? I can't place weight on my knee without pain. Hopefully it's not a baker cyst, which I have behind my left knee, that I believe was caused when I was using my original and cheaper, less quality trampoline. I'm only 40 years old, so the cyst must have been caused by my activity on the tramp. By the way, I have had no pain at all in my knee with the cyst. It's been great. Hoping this is just a pinch of some kind and will disappear soon. I desperately want to strengthen my knees. Good. The thing I would, I would ask you is <clears throat> what movements you're actually doing on the cellar sizer. The cellar sizer doesn't really cause those kind of issues, but it can expose those kind of issues. Movement up and down on the cellar sizer can also cause muscle, bones, and ligaments to start to move to support your natural alignment. If you have a weakness in the area and you're cellar sizing, cellar sizing has been known to be very helpful at exposing those weaknesses. So um, feel free to give me a call. I'd love to know what some of the movements that you are doing on the cellar sizer are um, so we can possibly adjust the, uh, the routine a little bit. One thing that I tell people not to begin doing when they're cellar sizing is this movement. You know, it's, it's it doesn't seem like much, but when you come down and you're kicking your legs back and forth, it's also got momentum or movement. And if you have weaknesses on both sides of your knee, you might, you might feel that. So um, go gently, build up the knees first. This, uh, honestly, the Jamba Walk is excellent for the knees. Rocking side to side, wonderful for the knees. Gently bouncing side to side, hips, thighs, knees, you know, and we just graduate as we get going. But um, the, the kick outs uh, can be a little, I love them, but they, they can be a little more challenging if you're not conditioned yet. So. Okay. This, yes. 
there are some extra questions that are on there, but we'll get to okay. those as soon as we're done. We'll review and make right. sure that they get answered. Good. And we're ready for the routine. All right. Everybody get ready for the routine. Let's do it. Be okay if I steal that bar over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Bar the bar. I should have put that on for you. Okay, for those who have uh, put it into the routine, I will count down before I start. And for those who haven't... It's on Facebook, if they haven't seen it. Right. It. Yeah, we, we loaded it up on Facebook. So here, let me help you with that. You're going to write... If, We're just hoping to do it fast. Oh. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just... It's, it's we'll cuts you. us down. There you go. All right. Okay. And while they're getting set up here too, and while you're getting set up, whether it's the coronavirus or something else, there's going to be, there's going to be viruses. There are going to be plagues. You know, it's rather interesting. Somebody pointed out that we had a plague in 1720, 1820, 1920, and now it's 2020. Every hundred years we seem to be having some kind of a serious uh, issue. You can look that up on the internet. It's, it's interesting. But irrespective, it's important that we build up our immune system. I'm going to share a personal story with you. Back in 1993, when I first moved to Utah, I'd gone with a group of people to a camp out up in the mountains. And I was new and I wanted to, you know, be involved and make a good impression. So I was heading up the mountain. I was grabbing great big pieces of wood and I'd haul them down the mountain and I'd take a big rock and I'd put the, the wood in between a couple of rocks and I would break these, these branches up so that they could use it for their fire. Well, on this one, one time when I went up there, I lifted the wood up and I took it down and unbeknownst to me, there was a nest of ticks in that wood. I didn't know that because that night we were there and the following day we were there and it wasn't until the following night that I went home and I'm taking a shower and I noticed I've got seven ticks in different areas on my body. And remembering what my mom had done when I was a, a kid, she took a match and she would light it and blow it out and stick it on the back of the, the tick to see if it would back out. So that's what I'm doing, right? Not working too well and it's not the thing to do anyway because all it does is cause the tick to regurgitate whatever's in that tick. Well, a week went by, I got them off, a week went by and the following week I got very sick. Every site that I'd been bitten on had a bullseye ring on it and I'd heard I didn't know anything about Lyme disease, never heard of it, but somebody told me about it later. I was just taking herbs and cellarizing. That's all I was doing. Never went to a doctor. Because I, when I called the state, they said, oh no, we don't have Lyme disease here in the state of Utah. So never sought for any treatment other than the cellarizer. Well, several years later, uh, my wife passed away. And the stress in, in dealing with a lot of this, um, my health was a little weakened. So I went up to a uh, medical institute in uh, Sierra Medical Institute up in Reno, Nevada. And um, they did some tests on me and, and I told them about cellar size and they ended up buying cellar sizers and they use it at the clinic because they recognize the value of it. But they looked at my blood underneath the microscope and they called me in and it was, it was called microscopy and they were looking at the, the blood cells and they noticed these little spirochetes that were in the blood. And that's what they were testing for, was one of the things. And they noticed that those spirochetes were bouncing off the cell membrane. And, okay, and they kept bouncing off and they, they tried to follow it. And they were fascinated that it was bouncing off. And I said, well, what does that mean? It means your cell membrane is too thick for the spirochetes to get in to the blood cells so they can propagate or grow. I thought, really? So I continued to cellarize. I continued to do my fast one-minute routine because as we know through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance research, 
we run as fast as we can on a cellulosizer for one minute, we can increase the number of active white blood cells in our body by 10 to 15 times and then stay there up to one hour. I like to tell people that's like giving ourselves our own natural antibiotic. Well, I continue to do that. A few years ago, I went back and they did more tests on me just because and there's absolutely no trace whatsoever of the Lyme's disease in me, period. I believe that the cell membranes, because they were stronger, because of cellular sizing, it's weight bearing, and by pulling out the white blood cells, that the army of white blood cells were able to wipe them out. So I have no symptoms, I have no problems with it. And that was after being bit by seven, seven ticks. That's, that's remarkable. Today we get a phone call from a lady who I can't mention her name, but um, it came into our office. And she's a doctor in, in California, and they just ordered some solarizers. They did it because they're concerned about the conditions that they're facing, but they're also appreciative <clears throat> in believing and the benefits of the cellar We have had more phone calls in this last couple weeks for cellar sizers that our inventory, we've never sold out, but our inventory is going pretty quickly and I'm scrambling to see what I can do to, to be able to make sure that those are available for people who also want to improve their immune system. Um, I share that with you because my overall objective here is not to sell cellar sizers. My overall objective is to help you enjoy a better quality of life. And we're doing the best that we can to do that. Our prices, our costs, everything has gone up. We haven't raised our prices yet this year. We're going to have to do that. But I haven't wanted to. I want to, as long as I can make ends meet, and as long as I can help you enjoy a better quality of life, that's what it's about. But this cellar size is a good unit. So, and we won't compromise it. Are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. And, and this, this will, will separate this out eventually, so if people don't want to listen to the lecture part, I'll just pull this out. you'll be able to enjoy just the cellar size routine. So I call this cellar size aerobics, aerobics beginning to intermediate. What we're going to do, I'll give you a brief overview. As, first of all, we're going to do the baby or health bath. Sorry, Christine. Okay. We'll do the hip rock. All of this is to warm up the body. Um, then we'll do the gentle twist. We're working up from the inside out, digestion, elimination processes. We're going to do some power breathing just to get some, you know, more oxygen in our bloodstream so we can utilize nutrients more efficiently and, and have a better aerobic activity. And we're opening up bronchial tubes and lungs as well. We're going to have a great testimonial on that soon too. I'll be able to share with you. Um, then we'll do a sprint moderate. We'll do that for two minutes. Um, if you want to take the last 30 seconds, work real hard, go ahead. We're going to do a ski patrol for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do a stomach run. Remember, that's when we tilt backwards a little bit to leverage the weight in the stomach while we're jogging. If you can do that, if you can't do these, then just do the gentle. Just walk in place, run gently. Um, we're going to do the ski patrol too, which is a little more advanced. And... <clears throat> I'll probably do it as the whippy ski patrol. So we're working the back and the shoulders as well. Then we're going to do some power breathing again. Then we're going to do the Jamba walk. That's going to be burning calories, increasing circulation in the lower extremities. Then we'll do the twist again, lower back and uh, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, the adrenals, all those internal organs. We're gently twisting and moving up and down. Great for helping to detoxify and again improving lymphatic circulation. Then we'll do the health baby bounce um, for 30 seconds. Then we'll do the Jamba walk for 30 seconds. Then we'll do the whippy ski patrol again for 30 seconds. So these are shorter periods of time. The longest is just going to be the, the running in place. Then we'll do the health bounce for a minute and 30 seconds. We'll put it on the health bounce, but what we're going to do is we're going to work on the chest cavity area and we're going to work on the shoulders and the, and the back. And then after that first minute and 30 seconds are done, then we're going to do um, opening up the shoulders and the improving flexibility of the shoulders again. And then we'll end up with the health or baby bounce 
for 30 seconds. But when we end with the health or baby bounce, and I'll, I'll bring this up, we want to prepare ourselves for a good night's sleep. So we're going to be gently moving up and down as we feel the pressure at the tips of the finger. We're going to relax our shoulders, our back, our buttocks, and just gently move up and down just as if we had a baby over our shoulder. So we can release the stress and tension in the body, help the body create balance, and uh, help the body relax. So we're ready now. Welcome to Cellar Size Aerobics for a Beginning Intermediate. If you hold on to the bar, it's easier to kind of tilt your head a little bit. Okay, so the push down into the mat. And you can do it this way too. And you can go slower than I am, or faster if you want. You can work the upper back gently, gently on the mat and the lower back. Okay, we're going to moderate run. Tighten your stomach if you can. about 40 seconds ago. Less than ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay. I'm going to do it as a whippy ski patrol for the hips and the knees and the back and the shoulders. Okay, now we're going to do it for a short period of time, but 
tilted backwards more. That's where the bar comes in really handy. Tightening underneath the chin, the neck, the whole front part of the body. Okay, now it's a little more advanced. You can do the whippy ski patrol, or you can do it as a little more advanced movement like this. Pretend you're headed down the slopes. Jamba walk. We love this one, don't we? I tell people most of us develop a love-hate relationship with this one. We love it because it works. We hate it because we feel it. And if it's too easy, go ahead and do the run. All right. How are you doing, Christine? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds of just the kind of cool down and then we're going to do the minute and a half of um, we'll work on the chest and the back. Oh, we may be doing a jamba run. Let me say, yep, it's the jamba run. Or jamba walk one more time. A lot easier, again, having a bar to hold on to because you want to keep your back straight and your feet flat. Then it works the thighs. Really? Yeah. Okay. One more of the whippy ski patrol. Okay. Then we're going to go into the, the chest and the shoulders. All right, so pull out. You kind of want to keep your shoulders back. Don't pull too hard if you feel any discomfiture. There's nerves in the, between the shoulder blades in the back too. And we don't want to, we don't want to hurt those. Okay. All right, now we're going to push in. Keep your shoulders up, your elbows up as you're pushing in. If you feel any pain or discomfort, just go easy, go easy on that. Okay, and pull apart again.
and push in again. And we could have done this a little bit longer, but seven, six, four. Okay. All right, now for the shoulders, we're gonna move them up and in. Again, go easy. Our objective here is to loosen up the shoulders, the clavicle area in the back, um, scapula rather, the clavicle in the front, but the scapula in the back. And there's little pockets or sacks of fluid that can get depleted. And what we're doing here is we're pumping circulation the same time we're doing the movement so we can help refill and increase that that fluid in the lower back okay now we're going to go very big sweeps Let me go one more. This right high here is it's going to keep going. And if you want to, you can go over your head as well. Okay, gentle bounce now. Feel the tips of your fingers. You should feel a throbbing or pressure at the tips of your fingers. We've opened up all the circulation. Relax your shoulders your back, your buttocks. Just relax. Hold on to a bar if you need to so you don't fall off. And just become very limp. And do very gently. And it says you rock. You rock. Remember, why work out when we can play in? Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being a part. Thank you for caring. And thank you for sh sharing those, those customer reviews. You, you know, you teach me and you teach others. And we're all in this as one great big family together. So I appreciate the support and wish you all a very happy, safe, and healthy week. week. Thanks.